Hey guys, this is Working on Leader Terry coming up in out of Austin, Texas, with a prophetic word for somebody. The Father is getting ready to speak to somebody like He spoke to me. Pray with me and stay with me to the end. You gonna be blessed, Father God. I come into prayer, Lord God, just thanking you because of who you are. For you are truly the El Shaddai, the God Almighty, the All Sufficient One. Father God, I pray that if there is any covenant that I may have made with the enemy, knowingly or unknowingly, I break that covenant because my covenant is with you, Father. Lord God, if there's any demonic portals that I may have opened up knowingly or unknowingly, I close it shut and I seal it closed now with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. And I command this old flesh to stand down. And I ask humbly that the Holy Spirit would stand up and speak. Lord God, let this word reach whom it need to reach. Let those that have eyes see and let those that have ears hear. Because you said my sheep shall know my voice and a stranger's voice that will not follow. In Jesus name, I am praying. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory and all of the honor. The Lord laid something heavy on my heart, heavy on my heart. But before I get into it, I just want to say thank you for all the love, support, all the donations, all in the emails I've been seeing. Um, God is just so faithful and he's good. And I just want to say thank you, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And I pray that the Father would just open up the floodgates and pour out a blessing upon you where you won't have room enough to receive. In Jesus' mighty name, I am praying. Amen, amen, amen. I wrote down some notes because I didn't want to leave anything out. But something been weighing really heavy on my heart. Okay, God put this on my heart. Okay, but I was in prayer. Okay, just laid my heart out before the Lord because I was just concerned. Okay, just crying and praying to the Lord um, for the nation. And, and I fell asleep praying and interceding. Okay, and the Lord showed me some things, okay? And I'm going to tell you what Jehovah Jireh is saying to somebody today. Mm, just like he spoke to me, somebody going to catch what I'm saying in the spirit and you going to be blessed. This message is always not for everybody, but I know in my spirit it's for somebody. And the Lord is getting ready to speak to somebody. Like I say, everybody is not going to catch this message, okay? But somebody going to catch it and you getting blessed today. Okay, this is what Jehovah is saying to someone today. Let's take this word to God in prayer. For those of you who don't know who Jehovah Jireh is and what it means, it means that God will provide. Thank you, Jesus. God will provide. The Father is going to provide for you. Thank you, Father. Now, if you are not a believer, this message is not for you, okay? This message is not for you. You need to disregard this if you are not a believer. But this is for those that are really believing and trusting God. I was in prayer three weeks ago concerned about myself and the people of God not having enough food and water to be able to make it through the famine. Okay, this is this is fam famine. Okay, the Lord took me to Genesis 41. My Lord, this is I'm going to show you what the Lord showed me. He took me to Genesis 41, verses 1 through 57. Please get your Bibles. Read it with me. I'm, I'm reading for the end from the New Living Translation, okay? Please always compare whatever translation you read with the King James Version, okay? Go read this for yourself because I'm only going to read, I'm only going to read 41, chapter 41, verses 53 through 57, but I want you all to go read Chapter 41, verses 1 through 57. Stay with me to the end. You can bless the day. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. At last, the seven years of bumper crops throughout the land of Egypt came to an end. Then the seven years of famine began, just as Joseph had predicted. The famine also struck all the surrounding countries, but throughout Egypt, there was plenty of food. Eventually, however, the famine spread it throughout the land of Egypt as well. And when the people cried out to Pharaoh for food, he told them, go to Joseph and do whatever he tells you. So with, 
severe famine everywhere, Joseph opened up the storehouse and distributed grains to the Egyptians, for the famine was severe throughout the land of Egypt. And people from all around came to Egypt to buy grains from Joseph because the famine was severe throughout the world. Mm, the Lord is speaking. Like I say, somebody is going to catch what I'm saying in the spirit, okay? Because we're hearing a lot, okay? Prophets, God, um, ministers, and, you know, apostles are all coming forth about this water shortage. I saw the water shortage, okay? I didn't see the food shortage, okay? The Lord didn't reveal it. Maybe he did, and maybe I just missed it. I don't know, but I saw the water shortage, and I did a video on it, okay? But this is what the Lord put in my spirit. Stay with me, guys. Guys, stay with me. You got to stay with me. Because like I say, somebody getting blessed today. Because somebody is, is really concerned about this. Okay, like I was. But I'm going to show you where the Father took me at. My God. Then the Lord took me to Amos chapter 4, verse 7. The NLT translation. I'm going to be reading for it. This is God speaking. I kept the rain from falling when your crops needed it the most. I sent rain on one town, but withheld it from another. I'm going to read that verse one more time. I kept the rain from falling when your crops needed it the most. I sent rain on one town, but I held it from another. The Lord is speaking. Somebody going to catch this in the spirit. Rain fell on one field while another field withered away. My Lord. Mm. For you guys that can afford to stock up, please do so. However, some of us are not in a place to stock up on water, food, and supplies, okay? We're doing the best we can, some of us, okay? With the, the little money we probably get, we're getting some of us, we're able to pay our bills and, and get a little groceries, but not stock up for months to come like that. But the Lord is saying today, and, and I got one more, Exodus 16, verses 11 through 12. NLT translation. Then the Lord said to Moses, I have heard the Israelites complain. Now tell them in the evening, you will have meat to eat. And in the morning, you will have all the bread you want. Then you will know that I am the Lord, your God, my Lord. Mm, that spoke in my spirit when he sent me to these verses, okay, to these, to these scriptures, and the Lord is speaking to you today. The Lord is saying, for those of you that believe you will not, you will not lack, okay, for those of you that are really trying to truly live your life for God, and you're trying to follow his commandments, thank you, Father, to, you, to the best of your ability, the Father is saying to you today, you will not lack, you will not go without, you will have more than enough, your cup will overflow, thank you, Father, thank you, Jesus, to God be the glory. And oh, of the honor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The Father is going to bring you through this, this famine. They said that, 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 that is about to come. Okay? The Father is not going to abandon us. The Father that has, has been with us all this time, he's still here. And he's not going anywhere. Mm, he said, I will never leave you. And nor would I forsake you. And nor will you see Beg it, bread. Somebody gonna catch what I'm saying in the spirit and you getting blessed today. Mm? Je Jehovah Jireh is saying to you today, he, he will provide. Some of you are witness of, about how he brought us through here in Texas through the ice storm. What affected others did not affect us. My God, Woo! somebody gonna catch what I'm saying today in the spirit. Not, not everybody got the spiritual eyes to be able to see what I'm saying. But somebody going to catch what I'm saying today and you getting blessed, okay? That ice storm killed some people, okay? Some people's homes got destroyed. Mm, all in my apartment complex and, and uh, around me, a lot of them lost power. Pipes blew out, but it did not affect me. Mm, so a thousand may fall at my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. It will not come near me. I will only witness the wicked being punished from a distance. My Lord, thank you, Jesus. Somebody, somebody need to hear me today. Y'all don't hear me right now. The Father is going to come through. Thank you, Father. And some of us, he is requiring more of us. Thank you, Father. I've been living off my faith all this time. And the Father has brought me through with more than enough. Thank you, Father. He has provided. I have not lacked. I have not been without. And the same God that has been providing for me 
all these months since I stepped in this ministry, he's going to continue to provide. Thank you, Jesus. I speak it. I believe it. And I should receive it. Come on. Somebody say with me in a comment section. I speak it and I should believe it and I should receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. A rightly don't mean perfect because mm, none of us are perfect. Thank you, Father. For the Bible say a righteous man fall down seven times and get back up. But when the wicked fall, he fall into calamity. There is no rising for the wicked. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. See, the Father know our heart. And the Lord gave me this message to bring today that he will provide. What affect others will not affect us. But affect us. We don't have to fear. Because remember, saints, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of a sound mind. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray that this message bless and reach whomever it's supposed to reach, because there are so many that are li living in fear and trying to figure out what we are going to do. What we are going to do, we're going to keep our focus and our eyes on God. We're going to do what we can, and we're going to trust God with the rest. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And I just want to say, I don't have my card to give an invitation. You could always go to the other videos that I made. And, and, and if you're ready to give your, your life to Christ, give, give it to Christ. Thank you, Jesus. He's waiting on you right now with open arms. I want to tell you guys that I love you and that I am praying for you. And I know you guys are praying for me as well. Bye and be blessed until next time. Bye.